we started building new products around payments and collections. Um, so, you know, could companies pay salaries to their employees? Um, how do you do collections for certain sectors within the business? Uh, so we started building those products and took them to market and they went live. I think it was back in 2006 when the need to give customers a card proposition uh, was significantly important in, in, in Nigeria. Uh, at that time, Visa and MasterCard had not come in yet. And, and so the, the business uh, built the scheme, which is now called Valve, um, into the market. I think now Valve you know, is uh, the largest uh, issuer in, out of West Africa. We've got about 32 million cards uh, issued in the market. It's something we're really excited about. Um, and, you know, we are thinking of bringing in a different flair of that story to East Africa. I think for us what's important is, you know, the, the cross-intersection of physical cards into virtual cards. I think for the East African market, we'll be doing more issuance of, of virtual cards. And, you know, it's kind of your link in between the old channels of transacting into the new mobile. Uh, first channels. Year on year we've built products that have increasingly uh, built um, our volumes uh, of, of transactions. I think last year we'll have, we'll have hit about 40, uh, 40 billion dollars in value uh, across our network, almost 40 billion dollars. Um, you know, but you know, zooming in now to East Africa, we actually power a lot of the transactional rails, if I can call them, uh, for, for a number of banks, uh, about 22 banks. And, you know, that means typically being able to issue their customers with a, with a card, uh, being able to connect them to Visa uh, for transactability, um, and also being able to manage some of the infrastructure, for example, the ATMs. Uh, and our entry point into East Africa was through the acquisition. Yeah, our business has, has morphed. Um, over the last 14 years. But we're very excited about, you know, what the future holds. I think if you look at what the, the banks are looking at, you know, the new interest capping, you know, cost has become a significant thing to watch for. They, they're finding that collaboration is gonna be significant. They need to collaborate with a lot of people. So not just the telcos, but also FinTech companies like ourselves. I think across Africa, we're probably the most successful FinTech uh, that's been able to engage with banks uh, and interact with banks uh, to, to increase what their value proposition is uh, to its customers. And we're seeing us you know, playing a significant contribution to that. End of 2017, we'll get to see what happens in the, in the banking sector um, in terms of who, you know, who, who, who becomes a relevant to remains in business but also C is able to really transform their business into something that, that, that no one has ever seen before in the banking industry. And, and you know, we, we talk to our customers every day, we reach out to them every day to try um, and have that specific discussion and identify what are the areas that, that we can collaborate on, uh, looking at all these technology assets that we've not only acquired but built over time and that they are already using. The Africa space, you know, there's about 400 billion dollars that gets transacted uh, in the retail space of which it's still significantly cash. Uh, I think more than 93 percent. You know, the question is how, how, how do unique solutions um, get built uh, for different customers in order to tap into the size of that pie? Uh, based on your segment, you know, you have banks who focus on different segments. Uh, but how do you put together a solution that is able to capture that pie and really be part of the journey of fighting cash? So not competing with other technology companies or banks competing against, against each other, but in the payment space is really uh, uh, fighting cash. Uh, so, so yeah, I, I, I see that you know, as, as our unique proposition. We've got the right assets, um, we've got the right teams, We've fundamentally got the right experience over the last 14 years to do this. Um, and we see our customers reaching out to us. If I was to rank East Africa, I'd put it as number one. Um, 
I'm seeing very interesting and exciting things come out of South Africa, North Africa, West Africa um, that are also uh, reinventing themselves and positioning themselves. I think we have an opportunity to 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 remain as the market leader um, in East Africa. But for us as a business, as Interswitch, is really make the success story about our customer. Um, and if we can play a role in that, then that would make us the happiest people.